My name is Ian Lee, and I used to be on the television. Thank you very much. <laughs> Long time ago, I have photographic evidence of me being on the TV, though. There we go. Now. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We love them. I know why, because that, that, of course, is me playing the part of Skeletor in the He-Man series. No. <laughs> the lesson to be learned from that picture, guys, and there is a lesson, is... Don't do drugs. Simple as, because you, you know, that, that's what you get. Now, the, one of the, the horrible things of doing this show is I get to see, I hate this picture, I hate it. Um, I get to see me, this picture, every night that I do it. And the one thing I've never noticed before is, and I, it's only through this, I've got googly eyes. <laughs> one, eye, look, one eye's going to the shops, the other one's coming back with the change. It's just, <laughs> and I've never noticed it before. Producer? I mean, it's just, thank you, thank you, I'm glad you got that. That's my favourite gag in the whole thing. So we have a news voice in our head. When we, if, we, if someone was to give you some important news to read, you'd go to your news voice and you'd kind of slow it down and you'd do your serious voice to give bad news. And that's what you do. Have a listen to this. Your voice across the county. BBC Radio Lancashire. BBC Radio Lancashire News at 7 o'clock. I'm Jillian Whitworth. Good morning. There's been another gas explosion in Greater Manchester. Emergency services were called out to Newton Heath just before 8 o'clock last night. Martin James reports. Flipping it, there's been a series of gas explosions in Manchester. This is like proper serious, okay? And this is why, again, my local radio is great, because people will go there to find out what's happening in their area if there is something going on. This is serious, okay? Uh, we don't know why these explosions are happening, what exactly is going on. They need someone with the gravitas, with the, the uh, tone of voice, the weight of voice to convey this story, not panic everybody, but let everyone know that actually maybe we should keep our eyes peeled. They've got Martin James, they've got one of the best in the business. Let's, let's hear Martin James. Good morning. There's been another gas explosion in Greater Manchester. Emergency services were called out to Newton Heath just before 8 o'clock last night. Martin James reports. Emergency services were called out to Briscoe <laughs> Line for a report to the The police evacuated nearby houses and some 150 residents were found temporary accommodation. The area was called off and just after 10.15 there was an explosion. Two houses were demolished in the blast the three police officers were injured by flying debris and none of the residents were hurt. When he decided to get near the microphone it was um, it's like when you go and stay at your nan and granddad's isn't it and you come downstairs and Grandad's there in his vest reading the Daily Mail. Anything in the paper, Grandad? Well, there's been an explosion. <laughs> None of the officers were hurt. Nice one, Grandad, thanks. You don't get the prank call anymore. There's no room for the prank call occasionally. And because I used to do it, I know, I'm pretty good at knowing if, if there's a prank call. Generally, it's like a kid going, hello, my... <laughs> we had a kid phone up at the Three Counties show once going, yes, my name is Mr. Jennings. <laughs> And I'm a PE instructor. <laughs> we went, all right, yeah, where did, where did you, uh, did you go to university to study to be a PE teacher? Yes, I did. Right. How long did you study for? Seven years. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm quite good at knowing there's a prank call. This is to Phil Williams at Five Live, no seven second delay. And I'm guessing he's busy and he's not paying attention. There are three moments in this call when I would have gone, I think I'm going to get rid of this guy just to be on the safe side. Andrew Clover, um, <clears throat> tell us about the decision-making process in your household. You already told us you were there for the birthday. Oh, no, no, hang on, hang on. So the decision-making process was completely out of my hands, Bill. Um, she was barking instructions at me, and she was, like the missus we heard, insisting on a natural birth, and this suddenly changed at about midnight, and she started sort of barking like a crack addict, give me the drugs, just give me the drugs. And it was hectic in there, and... Doctors were arriving, one, two, three of them, and every one of them stepped forward and basically fisted my wife, and they had a sort of worried look on their face. I don't know what face you should have while wearing a lady like a glove, but I'm sure it wasn't that one. Mark it like a crack Andy Andy Kroger, um, um, Tell us about this. <laughs> barking like a crack addict, I would probably have let that one go, but would have hovered. Fisting, that would have gone. <laughs> But then we would never have got the beauty of wearing a lady like a dog, which is a phrase we're all going to be using this 
A few weeks after that, uh, we turned up at LBC one day. This is how old I am. And there was an extra screen in the studio. And I said to my boss, Scott, I said, what's this extra screen? He said, oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. People can now send in texts to the show. Texts is the plural of text of arcs, and it's true. So <laughs> people can send in texts to the show. And we're going, oh, all right, fair enough, fair enough. But no one really knew what to do with it. Well, Anna was doing, a few weeks later, was decided that she was going to get people, she was talking about the entomology of words, again, discuss how words had originated, and someone sent her in a text about a certain word. Um, we're talking about these things, and I love this one, um, and I can't help you with this one, Mook. He sent in a word which is cocksmudger. Please would you check the origin? My grandfather's say it goes back to old sailors carrying a small Bible with them, and when annoyed, they would, t uh, with God, they would peel back the page and rub the tip of the penis against the holy words, smudging the words with the cock. I don't know, but I think your grandfather has you, and I think you just have me, and that's fine, and that's wonderful, and that's what live radio is all about. She's furious, right? which makes it doubly great. But for 20 seconds, she lives in a world where there's a word, cock smudger. And it's because sailors, when they got angry, would rub their willies on the Bible! The problem with those text machines was, okay, at the time, it's changed now, at the time it was impossible to tell who had sent the text in. So we will never know who sent in that word Cox <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a phone in about Boris Johnson. So what's wrong with Boris? You clearly don't like Boris. What's wrong with him? I think it's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll have that thing very much. Yeah, I don't think we'll have that. Point badly made, but um, 